Hello, it's Stephanie. So um, today I wanted to, I'm going to be adding a couple of envelopes into this signature and I thought I would do it with you guys. So I have these envelopes that are long like this and so of course, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to fit it in unless you fold it in half or something like that. So you have to do something to it. So this particular one, I thought I would um, fold it and actually attach it so that it's a pocket, um, an up tuck type pocket on this side. So what I did was I just decided kind of how long I wanted it to hang on this page here. And I think that looks good. And then it would flip up and open to be able to put stuff in there and, you know, journal here and here. So I chose, you know, the length that I wanted it to be and I went ahead and folded it and then I took and cut so that um, this will be glued down so it's not in the way. It could be cut off as well, but I thought glued down would be good. And then I just took a pair of scissors and rounded this so that when it is attached to the page and it's opening and closing, it's not hitting this at all. I didn't, you know, try and make any special sort of shape as far as this goes. I left the shape just as it was. I just changed this part right here. That's all I did. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. I'm going to be doing a little bit of sewing and, um, so I'm going to wait and do that all at once. And I'll have to just take that out of the video. I'll cut that part out because See, my sewing machine isn't where my camera is. It's back behind me on another um, little desk. And so whenever I sew with you guys, I have to move my sewing machine. And that really is kind of a pain in the rear end. <laughs> so I'd rather not today. Sometimes I'm like, okay, just do it, Stephanie. It doesn't take all that long, but um, I really just don't want to. But I'm going to go ahead and ink this. That won't be showing on the back side. And then we'll ink the front. So yeah, these are really cute little envelopes that came printed with that little tie on it. Um, I think that they were given to me by my friend Donna. I think. So we'll just ink around this real quick. We're getting still a reprieve from snow. I'm so happy about that. Um, so we haven't had any for for a week, at least. I don't know when the last day it snowed, but the last day that it snowed, it only snowed just a tiny little bit. It was no problem whatsoever. Um, we just got out there and shoveled it off the driveway real quick so that it didn't have a chance to freeze. So that was good. Um, and then the forecast only shows rain. And I'm going to go ahead and do some inking over here just so that it doesn't look weird for the rest of it to be inked. And this isn't. I was talking to my mom this morning. So, you know, you guys know that my mom hurt herself and that I... I spent, um, I don't know, a month and a half um, um, or two months, I, I don't remember exactly, um, going to her house and helping her. And I, I can't tell you, I mean, what a horrible thing to happen, you know, to my poor mom, but it has been such a blessing to me to be able to help her. And, um, you know, she calls to, you know, for me to help try and figure out some of the things that, you know, she gets emails. <sighs> from places and texts, but she has a hard time um, with the technology and figuring out exactly, you know, what they're wanting her to do. And, you know, she can't always open things. And so this morning she called me saying that she had gotten a notification for a bill and that she, nothing happens, you know, when she's trying to open it. And she has, 
some sort of a, um, a cell phone that I, I don't even know what it is. It's, it's one of those really easy ones. So I don't know if it's limiting what she can do um, or if she just doesn't know how to use it. But I'll, I also don't, unless I'm sitting there looking at it, it's hard for me to figure out what she's trying to explain to me. So anyway, she calls me quite often. And, and we try and figure these things out together. And oh, you guys, I am not a tech person whatsoever. So it's really the blind leading the blind. I hope that's not an offensive statement to anybody. Because um, I don't mean it to be. So this, um, so this is the one envelope idea that we're going to, we're going to do this one. And then the next one was, I wanted, I need more pages, you know, that you can actually write on. And so I decided to do some envelope pages. And then, you know, a lot of times we'll do it by gluing the envelope or whatever, but I'm going to do something that I'm sure has been done before, but I don't think I've ever done it before. So, um, I'm thinking that we'll do this as a page and I like to be able to see the other pages around my pages. Let's see where we are. Here's the right way for it to go. So I like to be able to see the layers, right? And so I just kind of marked where I'm going to cut and I'm actually going to cut this side of the envelope off and I have two of them. So we'll go ahead and do both of them. I'm just going to mark where I want to cut it. So anyway, my mom and I, let me get my paper cutter. <clears throat> We've been doing lots of chatting lately. So we were on the phone for a while this morning. And of course, you know, the, the task at hand leads to other things, you know, conversations and stuff. So it's just been really nice, you know, talking with her and stuff like that. But she did tell me this morning that she is going to go back to work. So you just want to make sure you're not cutting the wrong side. And I know it looks like, oh, but you're cutting the part that makes it an envelope. You know, <laughs> it's not going to close. Things are going to fall out. We're just going to glue it and it'll be fine. So yeah, she's, she's going back to work. Um, when this originally happened, she thought she wouldn't work but she's going to, and um, the doctors say she's all healed. She's just, you know, going to be very limited as to what she can do uh, because of the physical therapy, you know, um, the strength and everything and the, uh, what's it called, um, range of motion, all of that isn't exactly back, not at all, really. So she will definitely be limited, but she's going back on Monday, she said. And I know she's, you know, she's looking forward to going back and being a part of, my mom is very, she's a work person. You know, she, that's what she's always done. She wants to work. She doesn't want to sit at home. She's not somebody that would be able to sit home and craft for sure. She, you know, it would drive her crazy. She's, no, she's not that kind of person. Um, so anyway, she's happy to go back. All right, we're going to make it so that it's a page that opens like this. Okay, so we, we glued them closed. And now I need a, pay, a piece to just, um, I'm making it so that this is going to hold it together. It's going to hinge it. And I'm just going to kind of try to cut it where this one is cut so that I'm not wasting a whole bunch of paper. Just kind of even. I think she's nervous though to go back to work. I think she's definitely nervous. And then I'm gonna cut it up here. It's hard to tell where I'm where my mark is because the paper's kind of dark. I think it's there. Did I get it? My I need a new 
one of these things. I've already flipped it and it's got quite the deep things. All right. We're going to fold it in half. But when I was still with her and we would go into where she works, she would just light up, you know. Oh, Miss Glenda, they'd say, Miss Glenda, how are you doing? And she would just be so happy that, and that sounds like she's just some silly, you know, woman that, it's not that at all. It's just, it, they're her friends and she, she misses them. <laughs> so, they're really good to her. There's one of them, one of the ladies that she works with calls my mom, mama. And I'm like, hey, now that's my mama. <laughs> but they take good care of her. So I, I appreciate that. And then I am just going to ink right on the inside. Um, this is where, you know, you might kind of see. And I don't know that I want to see the bright white showing. So just a little ink in there won't hurt anything. Okay, get all those little pieces of that sponge out of the way. <clears throat> all right. Now, I should probably ink around these, but I'm not sure that I want to. Well, maybe. I don't know. I can do it later. So, what I'm wanting to do is put this one here and put, you know, this one over here but before I do that I want to add some stitching right here I don't think though that I want the stitching to show on this side because I like this and I don't think I want to I just don't think I want to mess with this I like it as it is so maybe now is when I'll do the stitching so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my sewing machine and I'm just going to do a stitch here like a zigzag and a zigzag for no other purpose than some visual interest. And the same here, I'm gonna stitch around this, again, just for visual interest. So, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I decided to do a little inking while I was sewing, and it probably isn't that obvious, but um, I did it. We're gonna go ahead, so I just did a straight, you know, stitch around this one. And I'll show you what I did to the others here in just a minute. Let's go ahead and glue this one down. Sometimes it really takes a minute for the um, the glue to set. And, and it is art glitter glue, but when you're gluing down to maybe coffee dyed paper, I think, or when there's sewing involved, sometimes... It really takes a second. I am going to get, well, I'm not sure how much it'll help. It'll help some at some part of it. Okay, so I want it in the center-ish. Close enough. And I'm hoping it's not squishing out so much that it's the glue is bleeding through to this side where it's not going to open properly. I just want to make sure. It's thinking about not sticking. Um, so on this side over here, I just have these little hearts. I found these on the um, Graphics Fairy website when searching for you know, Valentine images. 
And I just thought it'd be cute to add just a little something here. And I'm just gonna give myself an idea of where to put my glue and then we can adjust. You guys are in camera. That's pretty good, I think. And then I'm gonna put a different image on the back. The this um, shape of these hearts aren't exactly the same, and so I did inking on the back side so that if any of it shows through, it's not just bright white. Okay. Hopefully that's fine. Yeah, there's so there's a little bit showing through, but it's not, you know, glaring because we inked it. So I think that's good. Okay. Let's see how this is sticking over here. Looks like it's all stuck down good. Okay, so there's that one. So that's cute. And then for this next one, I guess I didn't need those clips. So I sewed here. But we're not, this part is going to be covered. And it's because I did not want the stitching to be showing on this side. Because I like the paper, like I said. So let's go ahead and we'll glue these down. Plenty of glue. And I don't want to put them right, right to the edge so that um, the fold doesn't have a problem. It might have even been still too close, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, and then the next one. Okay, so then there's our page. Looks like this one. I did inking uh, while I was away. I think I said that, but it looks like I didn't quite get all of this side here. All right. Okay, but we're not done. So, I mean, it could be, but I wanna do a little bit more. So that's what it would look like um, in the signature. I don't know what I'm gonna put on this pocket or in this pocket, so I hesitate to decorate on this until, or like I could do, I'm not sure what. I just hesitate until I know what, what's gonna happen on this page. So. I'm not gonna do that. But what I wanted to do was add a pocket. So I was thinking two options for the pocket and I have decided. So what you could do, of course you could leave it just like that. 
Um, or you could put a pocket here so that there was, you know, an extra little pocket that would hold the flap closed. So I thought about doing it like that so that you would have a pocket here and then also a place to put things inside here. But I decided against it. What I'm going to do is change the flap into a pocket. And the reason why is because when you when you have a pocket here and you want this to be something that tucks under and you reinforce it with more decorative paper, it makes it really kind of hard to do this sometimes. And I want to cover this. That's why I'm wanting to do it. And I'm wanting to cover the sticky also. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So anyway, all of that to say, I'm going to cover that and make it a pocket. So I am going to cut this down because all of that flap is not necessary. I'm going to do it on both sides. So that's not necessary. And we're going to use this paper here. I have this uh, paper pack that I found forever ago at a yard sale, I believe. So there's just some pages out of this that I've been using. Wild Rose. I don't know. Oh, color book. Anyway. So. I want to make a pocket. You could do it in lots of different ways, actually. You could make it a pocket for a long tag, or you could make it a pocket that, oh, I need to cut this part off, or no, I'll just go this way. That flaps, like, opens up this way, and I'll show you what I mean. I'm thinking about maybe I'll do one one way and one the other way. I don't know. Let's just do one. Okay, so we wanted to cover at least this much so that the pocket covers the opening of the envelope. So we'll go to maybe here. I'm thinking I need to also, I think my first cut is going to be length of the envelope. So I think that ends up me having fewer scraps. I think, I hope. It's going to hit up there because I needed to take that off. Oh, it worked. Okay, so I don't need this. And then I have my mark right here. So let's See where that ends up. And then I'll just kind of take a measurement from that. Oh, it's almost three inches, so we're going to make it three inches. And that way my next... Actually, I'm going to do three and a half, and there's a reason for that. So three and a half and three and a half. Okay. Scoreboard. Look at me remembering what it's called. I am going to very lightly, because this is not thick paper, but it'll be a lot easier for me to fold if I do this very lightly. it doesn't crack. Nope. Which side did I do? Yeah. Okay. And now this is going to be, um, 
it's just reinforcing it a little bit where you know where it opens to be able to put something and I I could do a little little thumb notch but I don't think I'm going to let's go ahead and put some glue and fold that down whoopsie didn't do that on purpose So it'll take quite a bit longer for my video to upload since I'm going to be taking out the part where I sewed. So I don't know. It takes a couple hours longer. Okay, let's ink around this real quick. to, I, I think I told you the other day when I wasn't feeling good, I had intended to maybe go uh, out to an antique store or something. So I decided to go yesterday and I didn't find anything, you guys. Such a bummer. I didn't find anything that I wanted. So I am going to glue this down to here. Oh, the lid's already off. And I really want to make sure I get the glue up against the edge so that when you put something in the pocket, it's not getting caught on the edge of the paper. So, I mean, as best as I can without getting a huge glue mess everywhere. But yeah, it's, it's coming out, so I, I really got the edge there. I've got ink on my fingers, so it's smearing black smear. Okay, and then glue three sides of this one. And it becomes the pocket. So then it opens like that. So this opens here and then it opens like this, but it also, let's get something a little bit slightly bigger. It's a pocket like that. Oh, that one maybe is a little big because of the, this one's a little smaller. So that's a pocket and I don't know what I'll put on it, but um, a tab probably. I'll probably add a tab here. So then that opens and then you've got room here for stuff. So then I will do the same thing on this next one. And like I said, you could make it um, a pocket that comes in this way also. if that's what you like. So yeah, here we go. Couple ideas. So I will sit and figure this one out. Okay, you guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.